Splat. Dream. Damn. Green, green. One back, one back, two, back, two. I'm from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Yeah. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Me, Zo, aka the instant burner, man. And if you're a play sharp like me, or you have a dual archetype where you don't have shooting against both the archetypes, you went through the struggle, bro, of not being consistent on this game, man. Selling, missing wide open shots. When your team needs a bucket, you can't make the wide open shot, man. Y'all end up losing the game. Where well, I figured out, man, I did a lot of selling, man. I figured out why you're missing so many jump shots, bro. I'm gonna show y'all how to make way more jump shots because not everybody wants to be a pure sharp in this game because man to me man being a pure sharp there's nothing wrong with pure sharp but i just feel like it's cheating bro you want you want some kind of competition bro but i'm going to show y'all how to shoot how to shoot way way better because you'll already know man this is another lesson in burner nomics man but very first thing bro when it comes to this bro if y'all show love to this video I will give y'all even more tips because I'm just going to be giving y'all the surface, just the surface of shooting well in this game because I do have a PhD in shooting. This is the same guy that shot 65% with a 69.4 last year. If you think I'm lying, go look at my other videos from 2K17. So I do know a lot about shooting. So make sure to smash that like button for more great content. And let's try to get this video to at least 200 likes, man. And y'all you know, already know, y'all show sure love to me. I got y'all with the next video. But the very first thing that y'all should know, man, is the weight of you having a great jumper. If y'all know, if y'all know from 2K15, if you had on the LA jumper, you would cash, man. Especially with the mid, the mid, I mean not the mid range, but the dead eye badge or whatever. You were you were splashing everything in somebody's mouth, you know what I'm saying? Half court, everything was green. When you did when you switched from LA to something else, you couldn't get a green, you couldn't hit a, a shot. So the weight of you having a great jump shot on 2K15 was up here. It was pretty, pretty high. We're gonna say it was like up here. You having a great jump shot on 2K16, on 2K17, it weighed a good bit, but you could still be very effective without a great jump shot. So the weight of you having a great jump shot was somewhere around in here, somewhere around in here. But when it comes to 2K18, the weight of you having a good jump shot is somewhere, if it's not even with 2K15, it's a it's even higher than 2K15. You have, you have, I'm telling y'all, you have to have a great jump shot. I, I hate the 2K does it like this, went back to 2K15, but you have to have a great jump shot to be very effective on this game. If y'all are new to my channel, I have a, a, a jump shot that I've studied, I've tried, like I said, I've did a lot of selling, and I came up with a great jump shot. It will be in the description, just in case you just cannot find a great jump shot. Go show love to that video, and you have, you have a great jump shot without having to really have to work for it, you know? But, like I said, you have to have a great jump shot. The next thing that you should know when you're trying to figure out a jump shot, a custom jump shot or whatever, you need to know. Don't You don't need to weigh so much on having finding a jump shot that has a lot of green releases i know some of y'all like man this jump shot is trash man i'm not getting a lot of green releases so i'm not gonna use this jump shot that's not the way that you should look at this game if y'all have did a lot of shooting you you realize when you don't get a lot of green releases and you get that good release at the top right of your screen you miss a lot of those jump shots y'all know what i'm talking about you're like yo i get a good release why am i not hitting this jump shot what y'all need to focus on when you're finding a jump shot. You need to find a jump shot that you make a lot of shots. Shout out to my homie Jay Easy for putting me on this. You need to find a jump shot that you get a lot, that you make a lot of jump shots when it's slightly late or slightly early. Find that jump shot. Even if it doesn't have as many greens, find that jump shot. Because, man, what you want to do when it comes to releasing your shot, you can go to your my court or whatever. You want to, it's a small window that you want to, you have to practice this, guys. It, this does take a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? If you want to shoot good on this game, because like I said, man, I did a lot of selling. I went from shooting 30 to 40% with my play sharp to now I'm shooting 55%. And by the next time that I give y'all another video, if y'all show love, I'm going to be shooting 65, 60 to 65% with my play sharp. But you want to find, it's a small window. 
you want to try to get to you want to try to get between perfect release and slightly late that's what i found slightly re the, the small little window it's a small window so you want to practice so when you don't get a perfect release it says slightly late in the top right of your screen that's where you want to shoot at because you will make way way more shots like i said you can go to your my court to try this out but what i would suggest i would suggest you come into this three-point contest this is the best way to try jump shot out try jump shots out because it's you're already in the park so so the speed is at park speed because if you go to your my court the speed is not the same the speed is not the same as it is on the park so you want to come here and try your jump shots just in case you don't know where the three-point contest is man it's right between the 2k zone and swags i don't know why that lady says swags but it's right between this you want to go right here man and just and just pick a jump shot bro and just practice 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 it takes a little work but hey man if you want to shoot good this is what you're gonna have to do the next thing man is hot zones i know a lot of people be like man get your hot zones man you need to get your hot zones to shoot good on this game you need to get your hot zones to shoot good on this game let me tell y'all something about hot zones in my opinion man when it comes to hot zones hot zones they don't they don't weigh as much as y'all think bro so if you're not a my career person but you don't have to be out here trying to get all these hot zones because i cash without having to have hot zones i will give you this man they will give you more more greens in that area compared to you getting big fat whites but like if you know how to shoot those big fat whites are going in so it doesn't weigh as much as y'all think but i will tell y'all something that does weigh a lot something that does weigh a lot is your badges bro if you don't get any other shooting badges on this game i, I beg y'all to go get the mid-range dead eye badge and the deep range dead eye badge those those badges are op like 2k15 i'm not gonna lie to y'all bro you know in 2k15 you were green a lot because the reason that you want to get those badges because when somebody closes out and they get a slight a slight contest that could be the the difference between you getting a green on that shot and you missing that shot so you want to make sure that you get your mid-range your mid-range or in your deep range if you don't get anything else but that's it for today guys i hope this helped y'all man i hope this latest lesson and burning numbers helped and don't forget to smash that like and for more great content and please don't forget to subscribe and be a part of the nodi gang and y'all already know who this is it is your boy Mizzle.